Welcome everyone to another edition of Endgame Finance. Today we'll be discussing Tesla, Elon Musk, and electric vehicle industry as a whole. And we will be asking an AI his or hers or its opinion regarding these issues. And we will go over a few questions and see possible scenarios. What would happen if Elon Musk left Tesla, for example? What would it take for Elon Musk to step down from Tesla? And what does the AI think about the electric vehicle industry in general? Now, here we have the first question. First, we asked, uh, first we asked AI, ChatGPT, what would likely occur if Elon Musk left Tesla? In short term, the news of Musk's, Musk's departure could lead to a decline in Tesla stock price and loss of confidence from investors, as Musk is seen as key driver of the company's success. Additionally, they, there may be concerns about companies' ability to continue innovating and developing new products without Musk's leadership. So the AI is basically saying if Elon Musk leaves Tesla, Tesla's progress in developing new technologies will fall off drastically, which will likely impact their stock price and would hurt Tesla long term. Second question we asked the AI is, will Elon Musk leave Tesla? Now, AI won't give a direct answer to a specific question. We can do some gen generalizations that the AI is making. For example, in this question, the AI says, Musk has some history of making unexpected moves, so it is possible that he could leave Tesla at some point in the future. So the AI is basically saying Musk, Elon Musk is not as predictable as many other CEOs, so it's very likely that he just may leave Tesla at a, whim, at a whim one day. Next question we're asking the AI, what could cause Elon Musk to step down from Tesla? And the AI says, potential cause Musk to step down from Tesla might include personal reasons such as desire to focus on other projects or interests, which is true. Elon Musk does have a lot of other companies. He has SpaceX, he has Starlink, he has the boring tunnels. If he wants to focus on our projects, he may eventually leave Tesla, according to the AI. The AI also adds, if he feels that he's no longer able to effectively lead the company, if he becomes disillusioned with the direction of the company, or if regulatory or economic environment or unexpected developments in the auto industry occur, that's the reasons why Musk might step down. Now, what might those be? We might get stringent regulations against the EVs in the future. Next question, how could Elon Musk lose control of Tesla? The AI says he could sell his shares or there could be a disagreement or conflict with other board members, which could impact Musk's control over the company. So other directors on the board of Tesla might actually vote Elon Musk out. If they reach that point, Musk is a majority holder of Tesla, but that ownership has been slipping lately. Uh, between It's somewhere between 15 and 20% currently, whereas in the past it was around 25 plus 30, 25 to 30 to 40%. So Elon Musk has basically sold off or diluted a lot of the shares in his company, which has left him uh, as not a which has left him as the largest holder, but not as big as he used to be. So there could be potential in the future where board members actually gather more votes and are able to uh, basically rustle control of Tesla away from Elon Musk. Next question we're asking the AI, what could cause Tesla to go bankrupt? The AI says failure to meet production targets, increased competition, fluctuations in demand, regulatory changes. So that's basically all just common sense. And the last one, it says financial challenges. Tesla has relied significant significantly on investments and debt financing to support the growth of the company. If the company is unable to continue securing sufficient financing, it could face significant financial challenges and potentially even bankruptcy. So the AI is saying basically, if Tesla is unable to raise cash in the future to keep on innovating, uh, Tesla could be in big trouble. And potential reasons this might occur is Elon Musk has been tweeting a lot, upsetting a lot of people. So some investors, uh, might just pull out, might sell their shares, or might not be as willing to finance Tesla in the future when Tesla dilutes the shares. They might, there might not be as many buyers, and stock price might just suffer. And if uh, if Tesla is unable to raise vast amount of cash to keep on innovating, Tesla could potentially go bankrupt. Okay, now let's shift gears a little bit away from Tesla and Elon Musk and ask the AI, 
when will self-driving vehicles probably be on the road? Now, the AI won't give you definitive answers, but if you ask it in terms of probability, it will give you some potential outcomes, but they're very limited. So let's see here. Some experts predict that self-driving vehicles could become commercially available in, in the mid to late 2020s although that timeline might be affected by a range of factors, such as technical challenges, regulations, et cetera, et cetera. So basically the AI is saying self, full self-driving is not really even that close. We're possibly five to seven years away from having a uh, technology that's basically full self-driving deployed on the roads. And I can see that actually happening. We currently have Waymo and Cruise, which is owned by GM, they're operating several robo-taxis, but uh, as we see, they're very limited to specific geographic territories where their maps are geofenced. Basically, they mapped out every single detail of their routes, and now they have to map out further and further to expand that reach of their self-driving. But like the AI said, that won't likely be fully implemented at least till the end of this decade. Next, we ask the AI, who will be the dominant electric vehicle company in the future? The AI, like I said, won't give you any specifics. It's as difficult to predict. Currently though, Tesla is leading. However, ultimately it will depend on a variety of reasons such as technological innovation, pricing, consumer preferences, and government policies. Now, what this basically means is uh, <clears throat> the, leading, the leader in EV markets will be somebody who basically captures who builds a product that people want. For example, currently people are really oriented towards buying SUVs. So we can see that actually Rivian and Ford probably have some advantage in the current market over Tesla. Tesla is just mass producing Model Y and 3, which is extremely popular. So it's a really good car, but consumer preferences are moving towards SUVs. So we can see Tesla losing some market share to Rivian and Ford, just because these companies are just pushing out SUVs in vast numbers and just ramping up their production of this type of EVs. Now let's get a little bit more general. Next question we asked the AI, what damage the world is vehicle emission causing? Now the AI is, now the AI says, air pollution caused by vehicle emissions leads to a range of health outcomes, including respiratory problems. So all the, all the exhausts are coming out of vehicles, coming into our lungs, are actually hurting our lungs. It's giving us heart disease, it's giving us strokes, lung cancer, and especially for people living near major highways where all of this pollution is just going up in the air and coming down and impacting these people, impacting their health, impacting their way of life. Noise pollution from those vehicles is extremely loud, especially if you're near highways. But even more, the AI says a major source of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide is coming from these vehicle and this is contributing towards heat waves, droughts, floods and extreme weather events such as hurricanes, such as uh, just massive storms that are destroying commercial residential areas. Now the last question I asked the AI is how will the electric vehicle, vehicle industry change in the next decade? Now this was a pretty hefty response so let's just summarize it real quick. So in the next decade, AI expects EVs to increase adoption. Uh, this will lead to a greater demand for charging infrastructure and new business opportunities. So the more EVs are on the streets, there will be a higher demand for our charging infrastructure, which will be most likely built out by uh, third-party consumers. So a lot of entrepreneurs will jump on this trend, start building out infrastructure for EVs. Next, we have uh, battery technology will advance drastically in the 10 years. It's very likely in the future, a vehicle, vehicle will be getting a thousand mile range on a single charge. And that charge will likely take only a few minutes with the advancement, advancements in battery technology. And the AI also says there will be a lot more competition in the future. This will lead to more rapid advancements and it, most importantly, will lower prices. So electric vehicles will be on par with gas vehicles within the within the next decade. And they will actually be a lot better. Like I said, they will have a much higher range. They will be much safer because they're much heavier and have a lower center of gravity, which prevents electric vehicles from rolling over as much as gas cars. And the electric vehicles are just a really good deal overall. Also, the AI now says, 
Regulation aimed at reducing emissions and promoting adoption of electric vehicles will play a huge part in adoption in the next 10 years. And this will also cause a lot of new business model business models such as uh, charging infrastructure, like I mentioned. There will also be a lot of businesses focused on battery recycling because we will have millions and millions of batteries in these vehicles just uh, constantly moving around and just constantly being depleted. So there will be other related services as well. But the EV adoption in the next 10 years will basically change everything. It will change our lives. It will change businesses. It will lead to new innovations. And it will be overall exciting just removing all this carbon dioxide from the air, removing all this, uh, <clears throat> reducing all these illnesses that are caused, reducing all these uh, natural disasters that are caused by all these emissions. But overall, the future looks pretty bright according to the AI at least. So that's it guys, today we had a chat chat with the AI, we talked about Elon Musk, we talked about Tesla, we talked about electric vehicles in general. I'm very excited to see what the next decade holds for this technology and this industry. If you guys have any questions or concerns or comments, please leave them below. Guys, subscribe, like and share as always, and have a great day.